Hello YouTube, I'm just playing about with some water and um, two radiator um, blocks and a heating element in between with an inline pump which is pumping water through the blocks and the water is coming out the side down the bottom. Now I have just filled this up and I made a mess of filling it up and I've just primed it and got rid of the air and now I just need to connect the heating element. So if you give me a second I'm just going to connect that up. The heating element is connected as well, and I'm just going to let it run for a little bit, but I'm going to have a look at the current it's pulling. Uh, 9.10 amps, and it's going up all the time. Let's put my hand on the blocks. I haven't actually got any heat gel on this at all, so it might be a bad idea. But I'm just going to let it run for a little bit and see if it gets warm. Um, and uh, if, if it does, I might re-record this something better. So temperature monitor in, is in and it's at almost 18 degrees. Uh, okay, it's jumped. Um, and we're going to expect it to jump. And this was just tap water, so it's below 20 degrees. I know that. And I'm just going to let it run. I'm going to let it run for a little bit and see how warm it gets. Well, there we go. We've reached the magic 60 degrees. And this is too hot to touch. And that, I can just about to touch. But we're losing heat through everything the tube the heat sinks, the uninsulated container, uh, which is one litre. And we've almost used, come on focus, almost used 33% uh, of the power because it was at 64%, so say about 12 amp power, the one litre water to 60 degrees, so that's 120 watts which isn't bad. So now we just need to try this uh, on the 5 litre water heater with the insulated tank and see if we can insulate the cables and the heatsink um, parts. Yeah, so that's quite successful. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, comment, rate, and I'll see you in my next video.